70% of ancient artifacts that exist that connect to the Egyptians, the ancient Egyptians, I should say, the ancient people of Kemet, really, the ancient Sumerians from Mesopotamia, the ancient people throughout Turkey and Syria and all these places, and even down into the, the parts of the Americas and South America, which used to be Mesoamerica, most of them have a depiction of the Pleiadian star system etched into the actual stone or scripture or writing or artwork, whatever's been left behind. And then, you look at the aboriginals, their verbal handed down history for thousands of years. I went for a walk about in Australia about maybe four years ago, documented its own line. They say that they were seated on this planet by the Pleiadians. And then they show me Pleiadian hieroglyphs, which I took a lot of documentation of by out there in the wilderness on the walkabout. And these glyphs have never been deciphered by anybody on Earth as to date. And we know that because of the patina inside the glyphs, you can date the age of when they approximately were carved. It comes out to be about 5,000 years. Romans 14, 9. For this very reason, Christ died and returned to life so that he might be the Lord of both dead and the living. Right? So now we're going into where people are talking about this return of Jesus. But nowhere in the Bible does it say Jesus is coming back. It keeps mentioning Christ. Jesus didn't say he was going to return. He said that Christ would return. What is the Christ? When you look into, there's been many Christ on this planet. When you look into what a Christ is, it's a level of consciousness. You see, there's some good stuff in the Bible. But what they did was they took the good stuff and they overrode it with a lot of bad stuff, a lot of darkness, a lot of manipulation and agenda, and a lot of propaganda. you got to be able to discern what's good and what's bad. We have less than 100 families controlling 8 billion people. Think about that. 8 billion people being controlled by less than 100 families. This is why the aliens don't talk to us directly. <laughs> I mean, think about it. If I'm a super advanced race, and I'm a type 3 civilization, a type 2 civilization, I fly by and look at the Earth and I see, oh, they got uh, 29,000 nuclear bombs aimed at themselves while they're still on the planet, and 8 million people are being controlled by this many tiny people, and they can't see how to take back control of their own planet and love one another. Why would I even stop by? The elite of the elites didn't tell the people is that they had the power inside of them. They actually, you got the people to begin to give their energy to these outside sources in order to try to manifest their reality. The real truth is we get into the feeling of abundance, we get into the feeling of manifestation of what we're trying to bring into our reality, and when we get into that emotion of it and believe that it's done before it's even done, that is the true power that exists in every single person walking this planet. We have this power, and we can bring our reality into existence through getting into a certain mind state, a mental state, not by relinquishing our power to the outside, but taking a journey to inner space and tapping into our inner power on the inside and accessing that portal. And when we learn how to master that, that's when our reality becomes easy to manifest. Individually, we are all recreating our own reality tunnel. As a whole, we're collectively creating reality.